Hello everyone and uh, in this video I'm going to discuss solution of an unbalanced transportation problem through Excel manually I have already solved it so it's a request video uh, I'm going to take up a problem of transportation and I'm going to solve it using MS Excel solver tool and uh, this is a problem right here in front of you so I have listed factories F1, F2, F6. There are six factories which are supplying to certain warehouses W1, W2, W3, W4, W5. You can think about any any factory as such. You know, you can think like that. Uh, uh, probably a shoe factory or a probably motorcycle manufacturing factory. They are supplying to different warehouses. And uh, the body of the table, like if I talk about this cost, let's say rupees four. You can multiply it by 10, 100, 1000, whatever you want. It is the cost of shipping one unit from F1 to W1. So let us suppose it's a bike manufacturing, um, you know, company which is having different factories at different locations. In India, they have their factories at 56 different locations. And factory F1 is uh, shipping one bike to warehouse W1. It is costing them rupees four. It could be 40, it could be 100, you can multiply it as per the numbers. So let's 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 talk about this. Cell. So if factory, factory F4 sends a bike to warehouse W3, the cost is going to be rupees 7. So this is a cost matrix fundamentally. And uh, these are the demands at the warehouses. So warehouse W1 demands 10 bikes, warehouse W2 demands 10 bikes, warehouse W3 demands 15 bikes, 4 demands 25 bikes and so on. And these are the production capacity of the factories. <clears throat> that means factory F1 has a capacity to produce 15 units, F2 has a capacity to produce 10 units and so on. Now, uh, timeline as far as concerned, it could be a problem for a week, for a year, for a month, for a day. So it's, it's one production cycle kind of problem. That means for one particular time period, these values have been identified. It's not necessary always that supply is equal to demand. So if I look into this particular thing, what is the total demand? So I, I'm going to sum the demand here, let's say. And uh, I'm going to use a sum function. All the demand. And I can see the there are total 90 units which are demanded by all five warehouses combined. And if I look into the supply, I'm going to use the sum function here then there are 100 units which have been produced. So I can clearly see there are 90 units which are in demand and there are uh, 100 units which are, uh, you know, uh, which are being produced. So definitely there is a kind of, I would say the supply is more and the demand is less. So whenever supply is not equal to demand, the transportation problem becomes uh, I would say unbalanced transportation problem. That means whenever you have something like supply is, uh, I would say, not equal to demand. So supply is not equal to demand. Uh, then it becomes, uh, I would say, it becomes an unbalanced transportation problem. I would write TPT problem. It could be other way around. There could be a possibility when demand is more and supply is less, or it could be like in this case, I'm taking supply is more, demand is less. Now, how to solve this problem? Before going into the solution of a problem, you need to balance the transportation problem. So I can see that there is a shortfall in the demand. That means there is less demand and more supply. That means I need one more market to consume this excess demand. So I need to see how much total excessive supply I have. So what I would do is I would see there are 100 units which I am shipping, which I am producing minus there are 90 units which are in demand. So there are 10 units which is, which needs to be consumed more. Since the demand is less, so I am going to create one dummy market here. I will be calling it dummy market DM. That's, that's, that's what I am going to call this market as DM is a dummy market. Send it down, dummy market, and this market is having a cost zero 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 zero, with with a demand of excessive supply. So this demand is of this unit ten. So I can write it manually. You can put the formula in, but I would always advise just to do it manually. So fundamentally, if you see, I have created a dummy market where there is 
no uh, no cost at all involved that means uh, and but the overall if you see uh, the total uh, consumption for this particular dummy market is the excessive units which I am producing. These are the 10 units which were excessively I was producing. Now it is balanced. Now you can see if I am going to put this particular sum function here, right, and uh, I am going to extend a bit, let's say. Now you can see there are 100 units which are in demand and 100 units which are in supply, and this difference becomes equal to zero. Now it is a balanced transportation problem. So you just need to understand this concept if the demand is less you are going to insert a dummy market if the supply is less then you are going to insert a supp uh, dummy supply that means a dummy factory let's go ahead and use solver tool the same way first things first i'm going to copy this entire cost matrix going to paste it here and the reason behind this is very very simple this is the cost matrix and here it is uh, now a cost matrix is shifted here <clears throat> this will be our supply matrix that means how many units i'm supplying from one place to another so i'm going to uh, delete and in this entire thing insert one more new column here with the sum of all the supplies here i'm going to pull it down just centralize it so it looks better and uh, again i'm going to use my sum function here summing all the supplies in the particular i'm going to hit control enter and uh, now i'm ready the format or the platform is ready here in this particular cell so what what is going to happen i'm going to repeat this thing here these are the costs in these cells in the form of solution the supplies are going to appear for example if a number four appears here or let us suppose a number five appears here three appears here then this particular three is telling you that three units are to be shipped from f1 to w1 so three units that means three bikes multiplied by four rupees each is going to give you the total cost of shipment from factory f1 to market w1 depending on this particular logic our total transportation cost will be is equal to some product of all the supplies from all factories to all warehouses with all the costs of the supplying or the transportation or shipment whatever you call it so this is how exactly i put up uh, uh, the transportation function here now i'm going to simply go to data tab solver uh, in anticipation that you have already installed the solver tab i'm going to reset all first thing it asked for set the objective cell so objective cell is this cell in which i have calculated the sum product since i want to minimize the transportation cost by changing the variable cells that means i want the solution to run through all these supply cells i'm going to add the constraints all the supply is supposed to be less than equal to the total production uh, total supply so the production capacity uh, means cannot exceed that means i cannot supply more than 15 units to income in total with all the markets so my total shipment cannot exceed 15 the because factory f1 doesn't have a capacity to produce more than 15. i click add then all these demands can be oversupplied this is this is a very important thing and it can be greater than or equal to all this i click ok and the reason behind this is very very simple that means if there are 10 units demanded in the market i can always send 12 units 13 units and they can be kept in the inventory and it happens in real life also I'll keep selecting this option simplex LP. I'm not going to touch any of them and I'm going to simply click on. Solve. It'll ask me keep the solver solution. I click OK and the problem is solved. My minimum transportation cost is going to be rupees 350. And uh, this is how the solution appears from factory F1 to uh, I would say W1. You need to send. Uh, I, I would say 10 units, 5 units from F1 to W5, then uh, you need to again ship what 10 units from F2 to W5, and then again you have to shift, uh, you know, or uh, send let's say uh, 15 units from F3 to W5 here, right here. Let me put it again in the same color. Then from F4 to W4, you should ship actually uh 25 units right here 
Now F5 to W3, you're going to ship 5 units. Now the beauty of the solution is the 10 units actually, which excessive, uh, you know, a dummy market we have created are going to fall into this particular column, which is equal to this particular uh, 10 excessive demand, which has been created. Now this 10 in this formula gets multiplied by this zero and this doesn't affect our solution at all. And uh, again, these two cells here, here are showing you that 10, 10 units are supposed to be sent from F6 to W2 and F6 to W3. So if you follow this transportation plan, then your transportation is going to be rupees 350, which is the total optimum or minimum transportation cost. Thank you very much.